just another moment in Carolyn's RV life. Just me hanging out with the wild horses in Nevada. You know. Just out for my morning stroll. Good morning, horsies. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hi, pretties. I don't know if they're dangerous. Would you charge? I suppose if you felt threatened, but I'm just going for a walk. Hi! You're funny looking. No offense. You're some kind of a mix. Burros? Are you Burros? Hi! So we're all wondering back at camp where you get your water. Where's your water source? You're not going to tell me? I understand. You need that for survival and you don't want the world to know. I totally get it. Hi. What you eating? Yeah. I got it rough. Can you see them behind me? They've been walking right through camp, too, a couple times. The other night, one walked, like, within a few feet of my door. Hi! Okay, I'll leave you alone and let you eat. By the way, last year it was hobo chic. This year it's the Unabomber look. <laughs> right? <laughs> I chased him up the hill.
I'm out on a geocache somewhere in Nevada. And I found the first clue. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a multi-clue one before. So it's about a half mile now to the actual geocache. So let's go see what we find. It's supposed to be a really good one. Lots of good stuff in it when they first planted it. So we'll see what we find. And I've got my... I've got my lucky keychain to leave behind. <laughs> All right, let's see what we find. It's beautiful. It's been really cold and extremely windy for like two days now. So, uh, oh, you can't see. There's a little bit of snow on the peaks. There was more yesterday. So the night, last night, was supposed to get down to, I think, high 20s. But it wasn't bad at all. Look at this beauty. Look at that. So a lot of you asked me to share GPS coordinates of my camps. And here is why I don't. Number one, a lot of the camps I find, I love, and I will most likely go back to. And so for safety reasons, I don't want to share the exact location. Because if I'm heading, you know, if I'm kind of going to start doing the same circuit every year, and you guys know that, oh, she's in Nevada now, we know where her camp is, <laughs> uh, you know, that could be dangerous. So uh, that's the first reason I don't share my GPS coordinates. The second reason I don't share my GPS coordinates is because I believe that over impacting an area could do harm in a number of ways. Number one, harm the environment. That, you know, with 50,000 subscribers, <laughs> let's just say even a thousand people or a hundred people take those GPS coordinates and go there to explore and camp there. That's going to be a heavy impact on that, on that campsite. And, and that brings me to the second reason. Uh, you know, my channel, my life is about forging your own path, right? Get out there, explore, be fearless, be smart, listen to your gut, but forge your own path. So I hope that by sharing my adventures and sharing my journeys and giving you a general idea about where I camp, I'm going to encourage and motivate you to go out and forge your own path. Find your own special places. Find places that not everybody goes that are quiet and remote and just yours. <laughs> um, that's what my camp here is. Uh, most people clump in one certain area and I went exploring the roads and I found a beautiful, wonderful, special spot that's all mine. Imagine if I gave that GPS coordinate out and the next time I came here, there was somebody there. <laughs> that's no fun for me <laughs> and yeah you know what I'm gonna be selfish in this regard um so that's why I don't share my GPS coordinates it's you know I mean I think you can understand that uh, I, this is my life this is how I live and if I can have some spots that are my go-to spots where I know I can enjoy the three things <laughs> that solar Sun solitude and cell not a nest signal um, and I, you know, it's, it can be hard to find those things. If I can, if I can protect those and covet those and keep them to myself, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not a party animal. <laughs> I like my solitude and, uh, it would really suck if I started giving out GPS coordinates and then every time I went to a camp that I love, it was packed. That wouldn't be fun for me. So some people's um, methodology or um, strategy for teaching is to give you all of the information and say, here, do this. Go here, buy this. Here's, you know, GPS coordinates. You can go here, you can get this and, and just really kind of hold your hand and walk you through this is what you do and how to do it. My method or my my reasoning or my thoughts behind teaching is not to do it for you, but to give you the courage 
give you the motivation, give you the information so that you can do it yourself. I don't want to I don't want to teach you how to do this Carolyn's way. I want to show you how to do it so you can do it your way. I don't believe in saying, "Okay, here's the GPS coordinates and the exact um directions to get to the camp." Instead, I show you I give you the tools. I show you the roads I go on. I show you how I navigate those roads. I show you how I find great boondocking spots so that you too can follow my example to find your path. I don't want to teach you to do what I do. I don't want to teach you how to do it Carolyn's way. I want to teach you how to do it your way. So I'm going to give you the tools to show you how I do it, but I'm not going to tell you to do it exactly like I do. I'm not going to tell you to go exactly where I go. And that's what my channel has been about since day 1. I said joke half jokingly, I'm a, I'm a cautionary tale. Uh, I'm not here to say, do it this way. Go go here, buy this, go here, go there. I, you know, that's not what I'm about. I'm about showing you my process, sharing my tools, showing you when I get in tight situations, showing you when I triumph and find really good um, situations, and about showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I, I am not here to say, do it my way. I am here to give you the tools to do it your way, not Carolyn's way. But really more than that, I really do want to encourage you to be your own leader. Go out and find your own special places on this wonderful, beautiful planet. There's plenty of them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, how awesome would that be for you to start finding your own places that only you know about, right? <laughs> to me, that's the fun of this life. It's the fun of camping. It's the fun of exploring. Uh... I like finding places that nobody else knows about. And, uh, you know, I'd like to encourage you to go out and do the same. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Okay, let's go find this geocache. What do you say? Another bust. I must be really bad at this. I haven't, I mean, like, what, three or four wild goose chases on my last four? <laughs> Maybe I wrote down the GPS coordinate wrong. Or it was it was um, planted 15 years ago. Maybe it's gone. <sighs> this is annoying. But I walked two miles. So that would be a four mile walk. Poor Capone. <laughs> and it was only supposed to be 0.8 miles from camp. <laughs> Once again. So, I mean, really, the goal is to get me out and give me something to do while I walk, but jeez, it's getting pretty annoying. I'm going to go back. Oh, I took a picture of the GPS coordinate. <laughs> Okay, well the GPS coordinate is right. The clue said that the, okay, the first clue gave the GPS coordinate. And on the clue written on the geocache, it said that the actual geocache was 800 feet away from the first clue, but GPS Google said it was half a mile, which is like 2,500 feet. So I'm thoroughly confused. And the GPS coordinate for Google put me right on a road. That's stupid. So maybe some of you experienced geocachers out there can give me some tips. Because so far I really suck at this. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to stay for a walk. Especially after being cooped up inside. Well, I ran errands yesterday. I went into town, got propane, did some grocery shopping. see, bud? Is it a horse? Is it a geocache? Did you find the geocache? Oh, it's 
so quiet. Okay, I'm personally renaming geocaching and I'm going to start just calling it wild goose chasing. <laughs> geocaching for dummies. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was so fun at first. We'll get them next time. So I decided to give it another shot and I was laying in bed last night and realized that I had said navigate to the GPS coordinates. And so I got up and I put the GPS coordinates by themselves in degrees and stuff into the search bar and it took me to a different location which was a lot closer to the original clue. So I had to come out here again and see if I can find it. And so far I'm not having any luck. And my friend is with me. <laughs> And he's also scouting over there. And so far, no luck. But according to the GPS coordinate, I should be standing right on top of it. So uh, I'm not ready to give up on this just yet. And I'm not renaming geocaching to wild goose chasing just yet. <laughs> we'll find it. But really, it should be like right here according to the pin. And it's big, so it should be easy to find. <sighs> you know. All right, let me look around. Instead of looking at you, I'll let you know if I find it. Say yay, we found it! Geocaching has been redeemed and has its name back. It is no longer wild goose chasing. I found it. Spoil alert. Turn off your camera if you don't want to see this or your video. Ta-da! There it is. Yep, it was buried underneath piles of wood. All right, let's see what's inside. Once again, nothing but a bunch of crap. Has anybody ever found anything good? I think I asked you guys that the last time I did a geocache. And I think some of you said you had found some good stuff. Capone's choking to death on his water. But yeah, nothing but junk. This used to be good, they said, but um, a couple of the reviews said that it had been raided. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you where this is. I'm not going to show you the GPS coordinates or anything, but just kind of bringing you along just to show you what geocaching can look like. And if I ever find anything really great, you'll be the first to know. Anybody know what this is? Dick Francis Risk? They're cassette tapes, actually. An accountant by profession, but uh, an amateur, I don't have my glasses, an amateur jockey. Oh, there are books on tape. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know what the heck it was. Books on literally, tape. Literally. Literally books on tape. All right, I'm going to sign the log book and leave my my prize. <laughs> Capone, Capone knows that when we go for a walk, he usually gets treats, but I brought the wrong backpack and we don't have any. Hi, good boy. Yay, I found it. So I'm happy. At least I found it. I don't have to go back to camp to feed it again. <laughs> so another successful geocache. Thanks for hanging with me. It was fun.